Greetings Commanders and welcome to this video. I'm your host Mimi. In today's video, I will reveal the results of the popularity vote. As I reveal the ranking based on your votes one by one, I will be also revealing my own ranking and I will be discussing the characters a little bit. Thank you to everyone who voted, it will help us with future development of the game. Without further ado, let's start! So, let's start from the bottom of the ranking. On this side, I will show the ranking based on your votes and on this side will be my ranking. As for my list, I rank the characters based on their character design, weapon design and also based on the thought of how interesting they would be as playable characters in the game. Now, I will start revealing the ranking made by you guys, starting from the last place. So, on the last place was Hayami Uzuki. So you guys voted Hayami Uzuki to be on the last place, whereas on my personal list, she's ranked as number seven. Some of the reasons why Hayami Uzuki is ranked as seven on my list are that I think her character design, her weapon design are really aesthetically pleasing to me. And she's also a spear user, and we don't have any spear users yet in Action Time Marine, so I think that she would be a very fresh addition to the game. Next is uh, rank number 16, and you guys voted Yana Giyuna to be on place number 16. It so just happens that she is also placed on rank number 16 on my personal list. Yuna is very adorable, and I do admire her strong sense of justice. In the game, I strongly believe that she would be a melee character, but the thing is that her only weapon is her suit. So her suit is called the Ninja Combat Suit, and that's her weapon, so I think if she did become a playable, I think she would lack the charm of having a really cool weapon, because a suit is not something extra, you know, like a pair of guns or a sword. So that's why Yuna is on place number 16 on my list. Are you curious about who is on place number 15? Well, that's none other than Granny. On my personal list, Granny is placed as 11. And I think Granny is super adorable, cute, and she has a very tragic backstory. If she became a playable in the game, I think she would be a melee character very similar to Sue. But, you know, hopefully with some twists so that they wouldn't be too similar. And on place number 14, you guys voted for Kanazuki Sora. And again, so it happens that she's also on place number 14 on my list. I have a thing for redheads. I love redhead and I had red hair in the past. So she does have an extremely pretty character design, but I'm just not sure about how her weapon would work in the game if she could play a player. If you have an idea, let us know in the comments. And the next character on place number 13 is Watarazu Tsumugi. On my list, Tsumugi is placed as 10th. She's extremely adorable with a very unique ninja art and weapon. She is small but dangerous. Just by looking at her weapon, it just looks so heavy. I feel like she would move similarly to Murasaki in the game, but maybe that's just me. And next, on place number 12, we have Mikagami Haru. Mikagami Haru made it to place number 13 on my personal list. So if Haru became a playable character, she would be another ice artist like Kirara, but just with another weapon, which is her bayonet. Her character design is really beautiful, but she gives off a different vibe as a tomboy character. So I do think she would be a really like a fresh addition to the action timing character roster. Yeah, and her weapon is really cool, I think. I mean, can you imagine the kinds of combos you can do? No, I can't. And that's why we need Haru in the game. You oh. shoot and stab. We are approaching top 10. But before that, we have Mrs. Megamura Uraru on place number 11. And on my personal list, Megamura Uraru is on place number 4. I think Uraru is a hilarious character. And I love how proud she is 
of her machines. Give me her gears. Self-destruct initiated. Gears. So if she ever became a playable character in the game, I think she would definitely be a machine type and she would have some kind of a cool gear as her weapon. Do you think she would be long range or closer range? Good question. I think to create some kind of variety, I think she could have both. She could do everything. What can you not do with gears? Tell me in the comments. Next, we are gonna get into top 10. And the lady who made it to top 10 on place number 10 is none other than Kurama Keito. So I heard that um, Suze has some thoughts about Keito. She's not my type, I guess. Exactly, you know. That's so sad because Keito is on place number 6 on my list. And I think her character design and weapon design are insanely cool. And we don't have a bow user yet in action timing, so she would be a very nice addition to the game. I can just already imagine like the really cool effects of her shadow arrows flying around. I think it would be cool. For place number 9, you guys voted Sakuragi Suruga. On my personal list, she is placed as number 5. So this is very biased, but I'm a cat person and I think her character design is very adorable. I love cats. If she did become a playable character, I imagine that she would have very cool claws, similar to Oboros, but more cat-like, I guess. And she would be unique in the sense that we don't have a character with animal-like features yet in action time. I mean, Suze, are you a cat or a dog person? Dog, definitely. All right, next. On place number eight, we have Inokura Suzuka. Eight is my lucky number, which is super irrelevant, but Suzuka is actually on place number one on my list. She is the whole package for me. She has a very badass backstory. She has very beautiful and mysterious character design, unique weapon, and that weapon also does not exist among the playable characters in Action Time and in Yet. So she just has everything. Just all of these things combined make her my favorite. So if she ever did become a playable character, I would love to see the same Scarlet Fog effects in her attacks that she has when you activate her active skill as a supporter. That would be just so amazingly cool. On place number seven, you guys voted the girl from UFS, Nino Weaver. On my personal list, Nino is placed as eight. So to me, Nino gives like these cute but deadly vibes and I think she would be a great addition to Action Time and In with her okay. particle cannon because there's not a playable character yet with a cannon as their weapon. So why not? On place number six, we have Morishima Ai. And on my personal list, her rank is number 12. So I think I is just extremely pretty. Like you have to edit hard eyes on me right now because they are flying out of my eyes. I is just so incredibly gorgeous. And I think as a playable character, she would be one of the fastest ones because of what her character description says. I don't think that she would be a super unique addition, like a, oh my God, never, seen before type of character to action time and in, but I do think that she would be a really popular character nonetheless. Now we are going to enter the top five. On rank number five, we have Igawa Sakuya. On my personal list, she is 10 ranks below on place number 15. Is that mathematically correct? <laughs> because of 10 yeah, ranks but... below? So my reasoning for this rank is that I do think that she's very cute and she has a touching backstory and I like that she uses two kind of weapons that are different but I just cannot see her standing out that much as a playable character if you know what I mean. Sorry to all the Sakuya fans out there. Personally, I don't think from the characters that we have now, Sakuya would be like a very unique addition. So maybe I would give her a spot to a different character. At least first. I mean, maybe later. Maybe Who knows? Later, yeah. But this is our stance on Sakuya. For now. For now. On place number four, we have... 
Nazahara Tatsumi. So on my personal list, uh, Tatsumi is placed as second. I do think that her character design is very cool and I do imagine that she would be an extremely powerful playable character. And there's this personal thing where I also think that all the Evil Eye users minus Puma are very cool because I think that Evil Eye as a concept is very interesting and fascinating. So that's why she's placed as second on my personal list. Yeah, I think Tatsumi is an all around very good character. Like, she's like essential. You need her for everything. Like, you do. Very true. But very I true. also noticed that you roasted Puma there. I mean, we're still waiting for him to awaken his ninja art, and with that, the evil eye. So, time is ticking, Puma. Time is ticking. Come on, Commander. Yeah, let's go. And just like that, we are entering the top three. On place number three, you guys voted <laughs> Amamiya Shisui. So looking at just her supporter skills, I think that as a playable character, she would be a very resilient character. Could we please get more white-haired characters? Would that be too much to ask? I am not entirely sure what her weapon would be, but on the other hand, I think that leaves the door open for so many possibilities. So it can, not knowing can also be exciting. And the top two. On the second place, you guys voted Momo Chinagi! So, Nagi on my personal list is placed as third. I think she had a very interesting introduction to Action Time and Story, and many people do want to see more of her, and I'm definitely one of them. So as a playable character, she would be another sword user, but she is also a wind artist, which leaves the door open for many possibilities. I think it's pretty clear, the audience wants Nagi, the workers want Nagi, give us Nagi, please. So Suze, how do you feel about Nagi ranking so high, both based on the popularity vote and also on my list? I completely agree. I also want Nagi. I think everyone wants Nagi. I want all Momochis, in fact. I think everyone should join. I think you should be a Momochi party. I hope that our voices and your voices are heard. You might have guessed already who is the top one, but we're still gonna reveal her. So on the first place, based on popularity vote, you voted... Uehara Rin! on my own list. Unfortunately, she's on the last place, but it's not because I have something against her, it's because I don't know her. I do think that she's gorgeous and I for sure wouldn't mind her being a playable character, but she's on my last place because I don't know who she is. I don't know her. Yeah, so we see a lot of comments always requesting for Rin all the time and like I think this was something that we already expected, that she would be so popular in the poll because yes. of the comments. I'm also not familiar with her, but I also think she's very pretty and she looks powerful, right, her pose. I definitely think that Rin should have a chance in joining our character group. Agreed. So, there you have the results of the popularity vote. Tell us in the comments your thoughts about it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more news, updates, and more. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!